that should stop it. Now you should only hear us. There you go. Can you hear us? Okay. How's everybody doing? Hey. I'm Joe. I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. That way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. It's Thursday night. It's Thursday night. And My favorite while, night. while you're talking, I'm going to pull up this thing because we're going to do a giveaway tonight. We are. You don't even know what we're giving away. I don't. I'm just excited because I love giving stuff away. That is my favorite thing. And we have some amazing announcements tonight that I'm super excited about. Are we allowed to talk about the 12 days of keto? Yes. Because we have the date. We have the date. We're still working on the time. Of the live stream. We are going to be live streaming every single day throughout the 12 days of keto starting December 9th through December 20th. Yeah, so we're starting on a Wednesday for a couple reasons. Okay, so I really wanted to start on my birthday, which is Sunday, December 6th. It's my 50th birthday. The big 5 -0. But we have a staff Christmas party at the church on Tuesday, and then we, we also don't, don't want it. to interfere with Chris and Miriam's live stream. That's right. So we're we're gonna start on Wednesday, and then the following Tuesday, during, we're gonna move the time so we don't interfere with their live stream. And then we're also going to do an extra day, a bonus day. A bonus. On my birthday, we're gonna live stream on my birthday. So I'm super excited about that. We're thinking about doing the Zoom thing, but I don't know how Autumn did that. Like I would love to do that, but yeah, I don't know how she did it. We should call her and figure that out because that was amazing. If you if you got a chance to check out her birthday, I know Gail was there because yep. I got to hear her singing and it was beautiful. I'm gonna pop out the chat. Yes so that we can have it bigger over here. And if you didn't catch Keto Chow's live stream this week on Tuesday, it was so interesting, like all of the data. Nerd, nerd. That Chris has, I, in fact, I love the little teaser thing with the bear, that it's like, nerd, 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 and you get to hear Miriam say, nerd, 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 but it was so interesting. So much good information that he's learned from trying different um, fat sources. Yeah. So we are gonna do a giveaway. Mm-hmm. We're going to tell you what the giveaway is in a minute. Okay. And then you'll have to be here to actually win it. Must be present to collapse. Have, must be present. Let's see who's in here real quick. And Say then hi. I want to go over, like, I have a list of all of the current Black Friday deals that I know about. And some of them are starting soon. Man, talk about, okay, so this is the thing that Joe has always done Glasses. since I met him is talk about nerd is come up with like a game plan for Black Friday. Ever since I met him, I thought that I was a Black Friday shopper, not until I met Joe. When Once I met Joe, I realized what a true planner shopper is. Like he has to have his game plan. He's got all of the prices. Okay, if this one falls through, we're gonna go to this store like crazy. Yeah, by the way, if you're looking to buy a TV, the worst day ever to buy a TV is actually Black Friday. Most people Fun don't fact. know that. Because all of the TVs that you see on sale for Black Friday are generally made for Black Friday. And they're usually like less HDMI ports, not as good of a resolution. The best time to actually buy a TV actually for Black Friday is right now. So here's the thing. Did you know that? I did. Well, I know it now that okay. we've been married. Mm -hmm. What I didn't believe is when we first got together and you were telling me about like, hey, it's always subpar electronics. They're putting it out. It's it's old, old models. It's bad. And I'm like, I don't believe you. I would really like a $12.50 DVD player, sir. I'm sure that this is going to be fine. Computers are usually old computers. Oh my like that. gosh. That has been a thing in our marriage ever Ever since like oh we're gonna get the twelve dollar and fifty cent DVD again this year Rachel no I've learned my lesson it would not even play one of the five dollar Walmart bin DVDs actually this year is probably the worst year to do any shopping on Black Friday other than like online like your keto retailers because that's their big day yeah but 
if you're looking to like, we were always going to the store, this year is the worst year. Like closed deals, the worst on Black Friday this year because there's better deals right now because nobody's going to the mall. So they're trying to drive you in right now. Yeah. So this year, like I think the worst deals all together are gonna be on Black Friday. The best deals will be now and then Cyber Monday. Yeah. Okay, so Kim is here, said I'm hey, online shopping and waiting for my Thursday night entertainment. I'm a half Aww. pound away from my next goal of 70 pounds by Thanksgiving. Wow, that is awesome. So Gail is here, said good Hi, evening. Gail. Trucker Cat is here, hey, back Trucker in Kat. Ohio. Truck is fixed. Oh, thank Got goodness. Got her Cuisinart ice cream maker. Yum. Um, let's see, Matre is here. Hey, Nancy Matreya. is here. Hey, Nancy. Karen is here. Hey, Karen. Uh, Heath is here. Hey, Caboodle Heath. is here. Janice is here. She sets reminders for our live stream. That's uh, so awesome. Thank you. Okay, if you guys have not subscribed to, to Heath's channel, you have got to check it out because yep. Heath is now they're talking about him going through like his MS journey and I mean amazing yeah just amazing so uh, Shelly is here Chris hey, is here Christopher slap a stick is here hey, Shanta Christopher. is here Let's Shanta see, who else? Rachel is here hey, Brianna Rachel. is here hey, April Brianna. Jason is here hey, Shell Jason. is here and then Chris and Miriam Scooter Geek is here so glad you're here. I saw some. Okay, so Linda wants to know what is my blue shirt picture? It's Matt from Matt's, Matt's RV, RV Reviews, Reviews, which is the guy who helped us get a, our, our motor home or our RV. And he has a channel and he does something called the toilet test where he sits down and if it's porcelain and it's in a good position where you're not bumping your arms, he says it is the prime pooping position. Bing! Man. And I got one of his shirts. Is that cool? I, I love this shirt. I, I have a keychain like this too. Oh gracious. I know, right? The things that on, on Joe's wish list, the things that he buys, like, oh wow, now that's a pretty shirt. Like my shopping and his shopping, very different shopping. But I have to say that you don't want to go against Matt's RV reviews when it comes to choosing a rig with a toilet in it. Because yes, some of the trailers, I don't know what tiny infant they think is going to be able to fit into a certain bathroom. Right. Like I cannot go to the bathroom and be like yeah. this. No. Uh, Gail said my beard looks different. It does. Scooter Geek says the sound is low. If the sound is low, I can turn the sound up a little bit. We don't want to blow your He says eardrums. you can speak about anything as long as it's loud enough for us, for us to hear. Kabuto uh -oh. loves your shirt. Um, Thank you. Chris said, I'm going to be right back. Didn't say anything important. Miriam will be right back. Didn't say anything important. Aww. Chris said, our daughter Haley wants to ask, hey, Joe, are you growing out your beard so you can play Santa? He is. <laughs> he is. We're trying to be Santa and Mrs. Claus for the kiddos this year. So, yes, I lended him my purple shampoo, and I think it's finally Turning doing white. its job. So, Paul, thank you very much for the Paul, $5 super chat. Thank you. Chris has said Autumn's live stream and birthday was a great time. It was just fun. Miriam said I should come to Utah for, our, for my birthday. I should go to Utah How for my birthday. How fun would that I would love be? To. I need to go hang out with Chris. Like, yes. I'm really missing hanging out with Chris. He was modeling today <laughs> modeling and i saw him and i thought i heard chris talking and i was like are they having a live stream at a different time of day today it wasn't chris joe was like just listening to old videos of him and i was like oh my gosh are you missing your friends a little bit there okay so line girl wants to know if anybody's doing advent calendars i was lucky enough to get one of those cheese calendars we almost bought one in Publix, but i'm gonna go to sam's club tomorrow and get one but our Publix has them but they wanted a lot of money they wanted like 30 dollars for it they did but it was a lot of money joe got the death stare from me because i had it in my hand and he's like i think we can get it cheaper and so he's like, go ahead and we'll put it down and I'll get a cheaper one. And I'm like, oh, do I want to give up what I know I have for cheaper? Uh. Speaking of advent calendars. Okay, so since we're doing this, okay, hold off on the chat. I'll get back to it in a minute because I want to go over all the Black Friday deals I know of. But since somebody said advent calendar, so Chalk Zero, we'll start off with that. Here's their advent calendar. So they sent me a message and they said they promised next year they're going to fix this. Okay. But... They said what's happening is, is in shipping, there is a chance that the candy drops from one pack, one day to another. Oh no. So what you can do is it's taped, this part is taped inside of here. You can carefully lift it up and then you can just open up the bottom. 
slide it out and make sure all the candy is in each day Aww. and then push it back in and then the kids or whoever's opening it That's will actually good. get it. Because they don't want anybody to open up a day and be like, oh, there's no candy. They're like, it's there. It may have just shifted into another day. I actually- And they said next year they'll work on this. But they worked really hard to get these calendars out. We got the milk chocolate ones for our nephews. I already dropped it off at my mom's house to make sure that we have it like for Thanksgiving because if you go someplace else for Thanksgiving, I always forget something. Like right. if I want to have a board game, if I want to have um, like drop off a, a treat or a toy or something for the kids, I have to I have to bring it ahead of time because I always Where's forget something day of. Always. I'm looking for my list. It's like not on this computer. It should be. While you're looking for that, can I? Oh, mention, here it is. I got it. Okay, Black Friday deals. Can I mention our mugs really quick? Yes, please. Are these the most beautiful mugs? I actually put it on Instagram. I said it was from Anne. It was from... I believe it was Anne, right? Annie. Oh my gosh. Can I read her, her email? She didn't say that we couldn't. She didn't say she, she couldn't. We couldn't. But these are so cute. It's actually a picture of me and Joe at a campsite. And it says, camping partners for life. These are awesome. On the front. I, I, just the cutest mugs. And she goes, to congratulate... The two of you on your awesome new channel, I've sent a little gift. I want it to be a surprise, so here's just a hint. There's gonna be two in the box and it says camping on it. I didn't get a chance to add a gift card, but I wanted to tell you both how truly amazing you are. Sharing your life with us, especially during these difficult times, is so wonderful. It makes me so happy to see a notification from either of your channels. I feel like we're all just friends sitting down to hang out and chat. I have recently started to comment and participate on YouTube, so seeing the two of you keeps me accountable. I don't do Facebook, and my family is non-keto, but with the two of you on my side, I know I've got this when I'm struggling. I love how real you guys are and don't pretend to be perfect. You make everyone feel special. Thank you for all you do, and God bless both of you. Annie, God bless Thank you. you. Thank you so much. I, I mean, Joe was like, you're going to cry when you see this. And like, he showed it to me and I'm like, oh my gosh. And he's like, no, wait. And I'm bawling all the way to the office this morning. That is the sweetest thing ever. And the little two people are holding hands. How cute is that? Okay. Black Friday deals. Thank you. Okay. Lady. Since we have Chalk Zero. So here's the Black Friday deal. She just messaged me because I asked her like, what is it? It's going to be starting on Wednesday. Wednesday. They're going to have various bundles and deals that are going to stack with our coupon. Ooh, So you're going nice. to get special bundles and deals. They're going to stack with our coupon, including they're going to have buy two, get one free of those maple leaf truffles that you really like. Oh my gosh, those are freaking delicious. They're also going to do a free advent calendar as a door buster. Aww. So um, that is what I know of so far for Chalk Zero. That starts on Wednesday. Wow. So Fox Hill Kitchens is having a special deal. All the links for these are down below, and I'll make sure they're in every video between now and next week. Okay. Fox Hill Kitchens is having a deal right now. You have another 48 hours and that's it. Uh, four packs for $35 or four packs of croutons for $36. I like their croutons. And if you want anything else on their website, uh, the code THANKS will get you 15% off. Plus it's Thanks. free shipping over $75. How cute. Okay. Here's the secret one. We got this new MCT oil powder yes. and the collagen, which by the way, I have it in there. I know you haven't tasted it. I haven't it. tasted it. So this is cinnamon toast. Perfect keto. Oh, wow. That's good. Perfect keto's deal is starting on Friday, but. Shh, don't tell anybody. But the VIP people are going to be able to actually access the deal on Monday. Well, they gave me permission to release the link. So the link is down below. You have to use that link. It won't, you won't be able to get the deal unless you use that link until Friday. So if you want to get it early, make sure you get whatever you want. You can use that link up till Friday. Well, use it the whole time because it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. And it supports the channel. But from Monday to Friday, if you use that link, you get the deal ahead of anybody else. And here's the deal. 25% off of two items, 40% off of four items. Wow. Or 50% off if you buy six items or more. And it free gifts with any order over $120. Like last year, the gifts were free boxes of ketones. Yeah. Uh, free boxes of their coffee. So like the free gift is usually a good deal. So you can start using our link down below. It'll be in every video next week. You can start using it on Monday and get the stuff early. 
This is the best seal Perfect Keto has this all year long. This is when we stock this up. This is like where you stock up. 50% off, buy six things, buy 10 things, buy 12 things, and get 50% off. They'll never have a better deal than that. No. Um, Lolly's Cookie Clusters. Um, last day to order, Pumpkin Spice is going to be on November 30th. And then they're replacing it with gingerbread on December 1st. Nice. And they're going to do a bundle for Black Friday. It starts on Friday, goes through Monday. And we're going to do a separate video on this, but I'm letting you guys know now. You get a bundle of each flavor that they have for 65 bucks, which saves you $25. And you can tack our 10% off coupon on top of that. That's really good. So you save another $6.50 on top of that. Um... Carrie Brown's thing is still going on. The link is down below. You save like 30 bucks on the mouse. Did you sign class. me up? You just got to tell me when you want. So I, I I had Miriam message Carrie because I forgot to. So it's not like a time thing. You, it's do it at your pace. Okay. So you can do it I have a slower you pace than other people. Okay. You ready? Yes. So Keto Chow. Okay. We so know them. We know Keto Chow. And here's what we're doing. I have in my account a $20 gift card for Keto Chow. That's from my personal account. It's not being given to us by Keto Chow. This is my personal gift card. I'm going to give it away during the live stream today. Nice. So here's what you have to do. You have to put hashtag Keto Chow in the chat. And then towards the end of the, the stream, I will draw a winner with anybody who's used the hashtag Keto Chow. Just put hashtag Keto Chow. Hashtag Keto Chow. And we'll pick a winner. And you have to be here pick to actually win. I love it. Okay. So the Keto Chow is... From Monday, the 23rd until the 29th, 10% off of all flavors. Every, th every flavor. But you can, you already get 10% off every flavor by using our link. Okay? Get chocolate toffee. So on Monday, you get 5% off of Daily Minerals. But again, our link is going to get you a better deal than their Monday deal. Tuesday, 10% off of Classic Flavor Bundle. Again, same as our coupon code. My mom loves that. Wednesday, you get 15% off of the Electrolyte, the Magnesium, and the Fasting oh, Drops. That's but here's good. the cool thing. You get 15% off of that, and I messaged Chris. If you use our link, you can get 15% off of that stuff, but then still get 10% off of the rest of your order. So if you want to get a bunch of flavors, take advantage of the yes. spend $200, get free shipping, then you can wait till Wednesday. Get 15% off of your electrolyte drops and then get 10% off of everything else you buy. Thursday, 20% off on the Gourmet Bundle. Same thing where you can stack our coupon code. If you don't get another 10% off of the 20%, you get 20% off of the Gourmet Bundle and then 10% off of everything else. I'm really excited about the Friday deal. The Black Friday deal. It's super cute. Is a holiday bundle with a bunch of cool flavors and a secret flavor that's coming out. And um, I actually have it made in the refrigerator, but I'm gonna spill what it is right now. I'm gonna <gasps> tell everybody. What Are it you is allowed right. to? Oh yeah, I should actually go get it and just start drinking no, it. No, no. Yeah, because I I developed this flavor. Bologna sandwich. It's peanut butter and jelly. It is not. Do not listen to I this man. I made a peanut butter and jelly keto chow, and Miriam, it tastes awesome. You mix strawberry keto chow with a half a tablespoon of peanut flour. And it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He's the like only thing we need a mad scientist is grape in there. jelly. We no. need grape. We need grape yeah. keto chow. That's if what we, we need. Grape keto chow. It would be perfect. But I got to deal with strawberry. So okay. So now there's a secret flavor comes out on Friday. It's not Joe's. You only get it in the bundle, and they're not telling anybody. Like you're not gonna know what it is until you get the bundle and open it up. They're not selling it unless you buy it in the bundle, and you get a free mug. It, which is a super cute mug. Yeah. And then on Friday through Monday. Okay. 40% off of all savory flavors. <laughs> nuh -uh. Nuh -uh. Plus, again, if you use our link, you get 10% off everything else. So you can get like the keto, chi you can get the chili, you can get the taco, or you can get the spicy ba tomato basil to make our chili. And then you can get a bunch of the sweet flavors with our 10% off. Dude. And then Monday, 10% off all our flasks, but you already get that with our link. So here's the thing. Get the savory ones for drop biscuits. They're drop biscuits. Or our chili. The drop biscuits are freaking amazing. Or our chili. Our, I mean, our chili is amazing too, but I'm telling you, like, that is a Christmas request. So here's, here's, you're going to hear something you're going to hear me never say again. Okay. Don't buy anything 
that I've just mentioned until next week. Don't use my links until next week because we want Save you guys the to money. money. Now, we would appreciate it if you use your links, use our links when you go buy that stuff, <laughs> but don't buy it now. Unless you just want to get some you're sweet totally flavors out. because it's all, you're already going to get 10% off. Yeah. But if you want electrolytes at 15% off, wait till Wednesday. If you want, you know, the the savory flavors, wait till next Friday. Don't buy Save it right Save the now. most amount of yeah. money. Okay. And then, oh, it was the thumbnail. We got to try the new um, Keto Bars chocolate mix. Okay. <laughs> it is crazy. Crazy delicious. They're going to now. If you know anything about keto bars, they never have Ever. sales. Never have a They're sale. They're going to have sales on the bars. They're going to have a special bundle with that. And we have a video coming out. They're releasing their hot chocolate on Black Friday. And I said this in our review video. The and Chris is going to message me right now. But I'm going to tell you, the keto hot chocolate is as good as chocolate keto chow warmed up. It's really good. The vanilla one is out of this is insane. Solar system. It's insane. It's so you're like, gonna want to like, get that. If you like chai lattes, that yes. kind of like spicy but it, latte. But it's a vanilla. Chris told me that Miriam drank the whole thing and didn't give him a sip. I would have too. I mean, if I didn't have to let him taste it, he would not have tasted it. That's how I feel about so it. So that's everything we know of. I also know, I mean, we, we're not affiliates with them, but I think heck of bars, I also believe is having a 40% off sale right now. That's so a heck of good sale. That's a heck of good sale. Heck of good. Okay. So you ready? Now let's get back into the chat. Yes. Carrie said she needs the shirt. She works with a colorectal a surgeon and it would be a perfect gift. Oh my gosh. That would be hilarious. You should probably just reach out to Matt's RV Reviews because he would probably just love to be a part of that. Okay. Matreya said, I might make an exception if Walmart has been holding back some PS5s. So you're going to start me. Walmart released PS5s again today. Got all the way to the final page where it said like in my cart, Use my credit card. Do you want to make this purchase? Yes. yes. Crashes. Comes back in 30 seconds later. I get this message saying, we're sorry. There's too many people at the North Pole right now. And try again. So I hit refresh. We're sold out now. So they are releasing some on Black Friday at 7 p.m. But they're doing the same thing. My thing is, is you're a billion dollar company. Like, have a server that can handle the traffic when you're going to do this nonsense. He's very I'm very, because I'm trying to get two. I had Anthony on one because I'm trying to get Caleb one. It's the only thing he wants for Christmas. It's the only thing he wants. And you know what it's like to find something for a 20-year-old? Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. That's not cash. Well, he wants underwear. Oh, so, and underwear. underwear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shauna said, I guess the non-scale victory, I almost lost my favorite ring because it's getting too big. Time Ooh, for me to pull up the tape. Oh, I it love hot. that, Shauna. Oh, my gosh. That I'm is awesome. Okay, so I have... Some Thanksgiving trivia. Okay. Can we do some Thanksgiving well, trivia? catch up on the chat first. All right. I'm turning down the air. Oh, somebody else is saying that they love Matt's RV reviews. I do. They're Matt is awesome. We're actually going up for my birthday. We're going up to Silver Springs um, to um, for my birthday for five days. And we're going to be meeting up with Matt and doing some kind of collaboration, I think, with him. So we're excited about that. A chai tea latte keto chai would be great. Chris and Miriam need to make that happen. Yes. Chris says, so at this point, Joe should just give up on the comments. <laughs> I said to hold off on, look, we're caught up because everybody listened. I am with Stacy. Stacy says the PS5 is a hoax. Yes. I believe that Walmart does not have any of them. That's what they're I the think. They're the only ones that have them. That's I, the thing. I think they're, do not get Joe started on the PS5. We talked about that for a bit. <laughs> is there a Walmart on the North Pole? Right. I think they're just Anthony distracting Anthony got his us. Xbox and he's like making Anthony, Caleb and I jealous. He's like, Chris, look at the graphics. Chris says, I think Joe needs counseling about the PS5. I do need crap. I think I so too. I Definitely. Because I can't play with my drone because it's been like 25 mile an hour winds every day. Linda says, same thing here. Walmart has frustrated me horribly this year. Yes. You've got to read the fine print on their written magazine well, like it's very some of the deals are six days some of them are two days some of the deals are one day way to confuse us when you click september on... said hubby got one from walmart <sighs> you just like ruined my night no. Rem okay so remember like september you've won a lot of giveaways and we used to kind of joke that she was like super lucky yeah <laughs> like i it's still it's still continuing 
Sal Marie, I was at checkout to approve payment. It was just goes to the loading screen. I let it go for 50 minutes, but nothing. Yep. And every once in a while, I was like, okay. And I kept hitting refresh, and it would go, and get, and it kept doing the same thing. I April, gave up. my hubby Tom will be 50 on December 5th. Oh, wow. He feels better now than he did when he turned 40. Me too. April, you and, like, your husband and, then, and my husband are, like, a three-letter le three letter word. And then your brother. Well, he's December 7th, but you guys are, like, like besties. Like, December 5th, December 6th. Both turning my 50. My family said, isn't it going to be on Black Friday? Yeah, so Walmart said they're holding some back for Black Friday. But that is, again, so that you get in the store. Because they're going to put but it in the Are you going to be allowed in the store? Good luck. How many people are going to go in the store? Is this going to be like a tent situation in the parking lot? And like, are we have to social distance that? And Yeah. Yeah. Lisa said, I can't wait for the keto chow and the keto bar sale, among the other ones, too. I'm going to go broke. I go broke every year on Black Friday with keto stuff. But then we don't have to buy, anything, buy anything for the, the next year. Like, like, I will be stockpiling this stuff. Yes. This this cinnamon, it's better than salt and caramel. I think it is too. Chris and Elizabeth are December babies. I I love December like birthdays. Except for my brother always said that he felt like he got gypped because a lot of times my mom would be just so busy with like the holiday stuff that she'd be like, Oh man, it's your birthday. Go grab something out from underneath the tree. Well, when I was growing up, yeah. Well, my birthday is actually on Saint Nicholas Day. It's on the feast day of Saint Nicholas. So I used Aww. to tell my parents, Do I does that mean like I, I get, get a special a double one? No. No. You didn't? You usually get gypped when you're a December baby. I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Chris said, oddly enough, after our talk about not being able to fly drones lately, when I got home, I had 10 minutes of drone flying before it got dark. It is dark so quickly. I, I feel like it's 10 o'clock at night. And there, it's like five. It was so funny. So uh, we are packing. Um, yeah, Christopher's birthday, I got a message from his w lovely wife, Aww. is on Saturday, so we do need to sing to him. Oh, let's do that. Yes. Can we do that now? Yeah, he's going right. to be 40. No, you're not. You're, you're way younger than that. I don't believe that. Miriam said, I have uh, five December birthdays. That is amazing. Talk about going broke. It's like all of the Christmas and the birthday presents at the same time. Okay, you ready? Yes. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Christopher. Christopher. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you Your and shirt many more. Just made me remember, just came out, is these. Electrolytes. So if you like the Redmond's Relight, they came out with them in these pouches, which... This is the better flavor, lemon lime. <laughs> so they're individual sticks. Now, I'm going to tell you, they're more expensive. If this pouch, this is the same price as the tub, so it's 40 bucks before our discount, which gets you 15% off, but there's only 30 servings in here, whereas the tub gives you 50 servings. Just take the tub with but, you in the car. But this is really good. Keep a few in the car if you're going backpacking, if you're going hiking, if you're going to like sports games or like, like I'll keep some in my bag for like kids if they're getting dehydrated or something like Stocking. that. Stockings. So it's it's a nice way to keep a couple in your purse if you need something. You know, like keep this, keep the keto chow drops. So I really like this. But again, it's if we're at home, don't use this. It's much more expensive. So I've been a total weirdo lately, and I like sour it things. Smells good. It does smell good, but I'm telling you, lemon lime is better. I've been mixing this, some a splash of apple cider vinegar, and one of those lime packets that are like the true lime. It is so sour and delicious over ice. Oh my gosh, I love those. Okay, things. do your do your things. Okay, so we're doing. I'm checking on that. We're doing a hashtag. little Thanksgiving family feud, trying to come up with the first three suggestions to answer each question all right so the first question is name a food you eat at thanksgiving but not during the rest of the year what is a food you eat at thanksgiving but then not the rest of the year let's see what everybody comes up with have you tried miracle berries i have not what is a miracle miracle berry? Ba berries are things that make everything taste like sour cranberry sauce definitely Cranberry sauce is definitely up there. Turkey. I am with you. Turkey is like something that we do not make all the time. I do not understand why we do not use that as a, a common protein source because they're huge. You make one, it lasts for days. It's delicious. I love turkey. Why don't we make turkey more often? 
Why do we wait until Thanksgiving? We actually have a turkey that I was going to make for tomorrow. I'm going to smoke it. Dressing, gravy, green bean casserole, turkey it looks like is up there, and pumpkin. Pumpkin anything. I mean, pumpkin pie, yes, but like we will be making the Keto Connect pumpkin, wish I was... The sweet potato, sweet casserole. potato casserole. It is so stinking good, and I do not know why we wait until November to make it. Um, pie. Chris said, use this recipe for swerve with swerve instead of sugar. It's amazing. Um, Joanne wants to know if Redmond's is having a Black Friday sale. I have not heard back from them yet. As soon as I know, we we'll, make sure you subscribe to the channel <laughs> because we're going to put it up there. Also, we'll talk about it on uh, Monday's Keto on the Couch. But we're gonna do a separate video on all of the Black Friday deals so that people can see it all in one spot. So Christopher has on there um, deviled eggs. It's something you don't eat every, just kidding. Yeah, I eat deviled eggs like all the time. They're so stinking good. And I gotta say, our ladies are making some delicious hard boiled eggs. Like we've just been eating them, you know, scrambled, fried, and then Anthony made a huge batch of them like but hard boiled we ran out of eggs and i don't know how we had like three delicious. dozen and rachel and i got on an egg kick we we and did get on an egg kick and so did anthony he yeah. got on an egg salad kick that was like i'm like okay we need more chickens joe don't forget the bricks oh thank you nancy oh nancy you awesome girl how many do you have nancy I completely forgot about that nancy let me know how many you have so nancy ordered the maple pecan keto bricks uh -huh. and isn't a fan okay so she's gonna give them away to somebody on our channel tonight how nice is that okay and what five. we're gonna do is she's got five so we have five bricks one winner so let's do this right now okay we're gonna let it go for 10 minutes or it should be even the last do you have a trivia question yes i do let's do that let's do a trivia question okay how are we gonna do this? I've got, um, I'm gonna answer the question and whoever comes up with my answer Yeah, but I have first. type the answer. No, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do, they type in the answer. It's gotta be one word. Okay. And then we'll have the thing random, randomly pick one person from everybody who puts the answer in and we'll okay. give them like five minutes to do it. Okay, or five minutes, how long are you gonna do it? Okay. Um. As the chat goes further, because Chris is going to start spelling out words to make the chat go longer. I know, right? Okay, I'm trying to think, um, which one do I want to do? <laughs> do, do. Uh, uh, oh, on. you're not nerd. Give me a question. Okay. Um, is that okay? This one? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so. How yeah, but you, it has to have a definitive answer. It is the definitive answer. No, it's not. Um, okay, how about this? Okay. All right. The first. I don't know how you're gonna do is that. Is it the first person? Can you put it into no. a thing and have it pick out the word, like a hashtag thing? Give me a question with one that it has a definitive answer. You can only have one answer. That, that, can have, that question can have multiple answers. <sighs> well, no? you should have, I, I, this is the definitive answer. I have the definitive answer. Name a Thanksgiving word that begins with the letter P. Okay, so put what you think, but she's only got what is, one. You got to think Rachel about thinking? what is she thinking. What's Rachel thinking? You got to think of what she's thinking. So put that. That's a scary word. mindset. So put the word in there, and then we're going to let you guys type it out. Okay, if I see the word, don't say. You can't say because. You can't say because we're gonna let we're gonna let it randomly cho cho uh, choose. Okay. I do see that people have come up with it. You've seen people have come up. I with have. It. I have seen it a couple of times. Okay. Right, family. Oh, <laughs> I should. I should be thinking the way Carol's thinking, okay, which is praise. How cute is that? We're gonna give another how long? Thirty seconds. Another a thirty minute? seconds. Name a Thanksgiving word in Rachel's brain, poor thing, that begins with the letter P. Okay. Oh, I, a few people have got it. Yep. Let's see. Okay, you ready? Who thinks? Ten seconds. Count it down, Rachel. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, that's not the right number. Seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. What is the answer? The answer in Rachel's mind is pilgrim. Should be prayer, should be praise, but it's pilgrim. Okay, you ready? So yes. 71 people answered it. Wow. The answer is, the winner is Trucker Cat. Trucker Cat. You're getting some keto bricks. So, oh, there you go, Nightbot. Trucker Cat won the giveaway. Oh, nice. So, Trucker Cat, here's what you need to do. Send me your email address or your mailing address and your all of your contact information to joe at twocrazyketos.com. I will forward it off to Nancy and Nancy will send it out to you. Nice. Okay. Thanks, Nancy. That's awesome. You want to do, so we still have the, nobody has put hashtag keto chat. So I guess nobody wants the $20 gift gift card. Well, do you want, why don't I? So, so should we do, we'll do one another more question yeah. or do we just randomly pick? Can you think like Rachel? Can you think like Rachel? So what do you That's guys scary. want? Do you want to do a question like this or should we just do pick from everybody that writes hashtag keto chat? No, I think we should do another question. Wait, wait, wait. No, nobody, no, we didn't do it yet. Lots of people did hashtag keto chow. It never showed up here. Okay, we'll just do the hashtag keto chow. That's good. Oh, now, it, now it's showing up. Okay, now it's showing up. All right, we're good. Everyone did put it. If you haven't done it yet, put in hashtag keto chow. Are we gonna let this go for a while or now? Yeah, yeah, give it a minute. I still have people starting to put it in there. Okay. All that right. was a lot of fun. Uh, there, was there was a whole a bunch of us that did. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, it didn't show up. On now it's so now it's picking it up. Now it's picking it up. All right. Want to make sure everybody has enough time. <laughs> Renee said hashtag keto chow. She like spelled out hashtag. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of thing I would have done. That is totally. I have no idea what that was. How is Jolly doing? Just thinking about Jolly today. And Heather, Gift, and Phil got a brand new puppy that yes. they're playing with. Half Bichon, half Shih Tzu. What kind of bear is best? Okay. okay. Are you ready? Do you want to pick bear the winner for the Keto Chow? Battlestar Galactica. You're going to pick the winner for the Keto Chow now? Yes. Okay, you ready? All right, here we go. How many people are in this? Okay. Let's see. The winner is... Oh, you got a winner. Cat Ray. Ooh, Cat Rays. Awesome. Congratulations. So, Cat, do me a favor. Send me an email at joe2crazyketos.com and I will send you the code. I think that that's how I have to do it. Chris is going to let me know. I believe I just have to give you the code and then you can use that in your cart. And if I believe I'm, I think I'm right, that you can actually stack that on top of our 10% off coupon. Nice. Or our link because we, we don't have a coupon anymore. Nice. So congratulations. Okay. okay, so you got more trivia? Yes, I do. Here? Let's see if like where where everybody's at. Name something you do other than eat on Thanksgiving. Name something that you do other than eat on Thanksgiving. Okay, so Chris said, Kat, I'm sending him a coupon code. Make sure you put it in your shopping <laughs> cart, not on the checkout page. So when you like actually go to like and you add stuff as soon as you put it in it's going to have like a coupon let's say enter a coupon code put it there don't wait till you get to the checkout oh so we see nap i love nap watch the parade yes is there gonna be a parade do we get a macy's thanksgiving no. day parade no i believe they canceled it no i think that they can't i know that a lot of areas did cancel it i know like the do I think the it's dishes like karen says do the dishes ugh yes watch football I, I cannot, I can't even fathom not having a parade. Check over the sale pep papers, watch YouTube. I love that, Gail. Is nobody saying football? No, there's a lot of people oh, saying football. football. Okay. Yes. Parade canceled. Yeah. Do nothing. Our family goes to the bowling alley for an adult junior bowling tournament. How cool is that? Oh, wait. Take a long walk after dinner. Do all the dishes. So are you team paper plates or are you team fancy china because like everybody has a different way they do thanksgiving it was a long like journey getting my mom away from doing the fancy plates but she was spending the entire night washing dishes right 
and oh, she yeah. has a very tiny kitchen. When like when we first got married, I would go over there. We we actually moved Thanksgiving over to our house for several years because I was just like, my I never got to see Rachel's mom actually sit eat down. Christmas dinner, Easter dinner, Thanksgiving dinner. So I was like, okay, now we moved it over here, She's and like, now I'm the one who doesn't sit down because like she is the one who should be sitting down and we should be serving her. She is like that mom from a Christmas story that it's like, I don't think she's ever had a hot meal yeah. ever. Like yeah. just always so waiting. So I'm looking on here and it does say the Macy's Thanksgiving parade is happening, but they're not walking down the streets. How so the only place to see all of walking. the performances, the balloons and the fabulous floats are from your house. I don't oh. know what that means, but so it says they are not walk marching down the streets of New York City. How do you How have do you those do giant the balloons? balloons? I don't know, but... We're just attaching them to buildings, maybe? Brian said, catch up on 2KK videos. Aw, bless your heart. I love that. Donna said, holiday plates, no paper plates. Okay, so, Chris, so Slapstick is exactly like my mother. He says, I would go through a lot of plates because I do not like my food touching. My mother is like... We go through so many, like, spoons, forks, the plates. Yes, she does not like food touching. Well, even funnier than that was I remember when I first started dating Rachel and then and when we first got married and I'd go over and I'd be watching her mom cook. So she uses a spoon, mm -hmm. right? Stir the gravy. Yeah. That spoon is dirty now. You, that spoon, it's not out. not like you can't you test, use it to didn't... something else. You can't not test it. Like... You stir the gravy once, that spoon now goes into the sink. Now yes. when you gotta stir the gravy again, get another spoon. I don't own that many spoons. Well, she has a lot because she gets a lot of her silverware and stuff from like thrift stores. Right, and but then, I mean like literally like by the end of a cooking thing, like she's gone through 50 spoons to cook yeah. like three things. God bless. It's a lot, it's a lot of Miriam dishes. said, I, I just hate dishes. I know. I just cannot stand. Like that is not my choreo. And like that is like a thing for me. The kids know nothing aggravates me more than dirty dishes in the sink overnight. And that's Caleb's job. That's like part of his, his jurisdiction. His jurisdiction is before you go to bed, I want a clean sink because we live in Florida and you got ants and you Buggies. got palmetto bugs and everything else. But I want to wake up in the morning and see a clean start, kitchen. Start over. And when you it's go a new away, day. everything's got to be clean when you go away. So like when we get home, like I don't feel like I'm behind the eight ball. And I tell the kids when we go camping, like before we walk in the door, I want the house vacuumed, the bathrooms clean, because otherwise Rachel will walk in the house and start like, like doing cleaning. dishes, cleaning the bathroom. So that's their job. We go away. Clean up that party. Clean up the party. Clean that up we from don't that know party. Happened. We don't want to act. No, like it's going on. Chris said the spoon needs to ring a bell and chant unclean. Unclean. Yes. Okay, so next question. Name a store that has the best Black Friday sales. And I think we can all agree it's not Walmart this year. Because Walmart's at, actually got really good we're deals. We're mad about their PS5s though. Okay, I'm going to I can answer this one. Okay. You know who's got the best some of the some of the best Black Friday. First of all, nobody's got good Black Friday deals. The deals are now. Okay. Um it's actually Home Depot. Tar Home Depot? Yeah. Why Home if Depot? If you are a tool person, if you need a tool or anybody in your life needs a tool, this year's Home Depot is some of the best sales I've ever seen, especially on power tools. They have a ladder for 10 bucks. I mean, will they it have, hold you up? Yeah, no, <laughs> 250 like pound weight limit. That's, made out of paper? They have like- $10? Their Milwaukee tools. Are you getting up on that thing for $10? It's a 250 pound weight limit. It's a good ladder. It's Do you like have to buy slash. the screws separately? How about if you want any Amazon electronics, like um, you want, um, the Echoes, the Echo Shows, the, dots. the Echo Dots. The prices are better at Home Depot this year than they are on Amazon. And if you look on Amazon, they're not available till mid-December, but you can go to Home Depot right now and get them for the same price or less than Amazon. Okay, I think and it's- And have it in your hand. I think this is the moment to do a, um, a PSA for dads out there because I am the worst at buying tool things. I always want to go and buy like some sort of a Black Friday deal for tools because you're like a handy guy, you like tools, but I always wind up picking something 
yes, it's inexpensive. Yes, it seems like a deal, but it is like terrible and useless, like like screwdrivers or electronic things that just are no help at all. Right. If I don't know what I'm doing, I'm walking into Home Depot. I want I want to dazzle you. Well, here's the cool thing. What about should Home Depot? I reach for? It, uh, power power tools like Milwaukee. Like, okay. And I will tell anybody buy Milwaukee over um, Dewalt. Why? Five year warranty. Okay. And never ever buy the extended warranty that Home Depot offers you. Why? Because they offer you an extended warranty for two years, but Milwaukee products have a five year warranty on them. Oh. So you're paying for an extended warranty up. that you never ever will use. Because okay. when you go to use it, they're going to be like, well, you got to go to the manufacturer first. And Milwaukee's really good. Like if it breaks down, you bring it in, they either fix it or give you a brand new one and they're very good about it. So but I'm, they're doing deals right now like 50% off of some of their power tools. What's uh, the power tool? To, if I'm only getting one a and you're A drill new, set. A drill set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A good a good like Milwaukee. I mean, DeWalt are good. I'm a Milwaukee guy because I, and I like the fact that all of the batteries integrate and everything. And you I can know. buy other now things. Now you're getting into my nerd talk. Well, I just, I, I would, I would have liked to have known, like, what should I get you? Because that's, I always would pick like some terrible cheap screwdriver set that you're like, thanks, but this thing is never going to be helpful. No. And it's not like it's cheap. I'll pay fifty, a hundred dollars for a present, but like for a toolbox or something that you're like, I am never going to use this. A lot this. of that kind of stuff. I go to Harbor Freight. Because I don't care. Like, you know, I, I can pay half the price at Harbor Freight for a set of wrenches. And then when I lose one, because somebody's going to lose an open end wrench, it's cheaper to replace than going to Home Depot. And they and used to super it. stink, but Harbor Freight seems to be like stepping up their game. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of people say Amazon. Amazon's got great deals this year, too. Miriam's like, I want a ladder for $10. I'm afraid to get on that. Like, seriously? It's a good ladder. No, it's a good quality ladder. It's, it's a really good quality ladder. Like Chevy Chase in National yeah, no, it's, um, Lampoon's Christmas would endorse, like that kind of um, good. Yeah, uh, Joe. Joe's an old Milwaukee guy. He's an old Milwaukee. <laughs> Trucker guy. Cat. I use my like their mind blower and their semi all the time to clean my truck. I'm actually going to get a new set of Milwaukee. I have almost every Milwaukee tool there is, like all the major ones, including a giant saw. But I want something specific for the trailer. I want a set that I can leave in the trailer, but I like the fact that all my batteries integrate. And now is the time to buy it because you get free batteries and everything else. Um, what was the other? There was another sale. Oh, uh, yes. About. They were refined. Uh, I try to find the craziest Pittsburgh Steelers things I can find. Yes. But like year after, I have a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Melissa yeah. is a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan. We're seriously like running out of stuff to get her. Yeah. Because it I is like. I got her like, socks one day. What was that sock company in the mall? What was it, some Bombas? I mean, it is hard to find because, but they at least come out with cool stuff for Steelers fans. Matreya said Kohl's usually has good kitchen gadget sales. Yes, they do. But. 99% of it is rebates. That's Ugh. Kohl's gets you with the rebate. We never or turn them in on time. the rebate or then the Kohl's cash deal, which <laughs> you cannot apply the Kohl's cash to something that's got a sale on it a lot of times. Then I forget. And so, yeah, I stopped that. Chris said, we got the 130-piece tool set from Harbor Freight and one in the truck and another one in the trailer. And yeah, they have 20% off deals at Harbor Freight for Black Friday. Um, That's what I want for kitchen gadgets. You know what the worst thing to buy on Black Friday is? What? Christmas decorations. Oh, yeah. Well. No. They're going to all advertise them. You know what the best day to buy Christmas decorations are before Christmas? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday? Yep. I wonder why. Any, think about this. Any time a store is clearancing out more than one holiday decoration, it's not the best day to buy it. So, like... Uh, on Black Friday, they're going to be clearing out Halloween, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and then having signs on Christmas. So wait until Cyber Monday or beyond. The best prices are usually after Black Friday. Because everybody's shopping for Christmas on Black Friday, so they're like, oh, let me buy my Christmas tree. Okay, so I'm going to say this question. Shauna said Kohl's raises prices to put them on sale. I yes, totally they believe do. that. Or they tell you this is the... Retail price. That's the suggested retail it'll price be that like, nobody pays. It'll be like a simple collared shirt for a guy, and they'll say that it's like on sale for $10, regular retail price $58. I'm like, ain't nobody spending $58 on that like 
no name brand collared shirt. Miriam said she wants a Christmas tree for the shipping area at Keto Chow. Oh, that's that would nice. be cool. Yeah. Chris said you can't buy Christmas decorations after Christmas because they self destruct after two months. That is correct. <laughs> okay, so here you go. Name a thing. Chris said, Miriam, we have four freaking trees. <laughs> Name a Thanksgiving food that normally has the most leftovers. What is a Thanksgiving food that has the most leftovers? I can tell you right now. I know it is in your mother's house. Green, green bean, bean casserole. casserole. She is always thinking that there's going to be a run on She's green like, bean casserole. She's like, everybody likes green bean casserole. They do, but nobody wants it when it's not hot anymore. It is like soggy. Now, of course, the only people who eat it are our kids because everybody else in the house is, like between all three houses, is keto. Green bean, thank you, Kelly. Green bean casserole is Cranberry just, sauce in a can. That was never left over, which by the way i'm gonna do a cranberry sauce recipe next week okay. um cranberry sauce was never left over because rachel's mom and i would each eat a can we're the only ones in the house that eat it and we each eat a can it is the only like it's one of those things that it's like you don't even try to stir it up like you use the the can like it just flops out of the can in that shape and you use it to cut it right right don't you use like the the yes. can shape those little like nodules like that's where you cut it scooter geeks and cole's digital price displays updates as needed yes that's why i can't stand they have that little thing so they can change the price whenever they want Ooh, that shifty that yeah shifty. because you can't play the game like some of the stores like we went camping we went into Publix. Publix has a if you're in a Publix area here's a good tip to hey, know vintage girls so Public store policy is if something rings up different than what the price is on the shelf it's free so we went and we got the kielbasa bacon, which you're, if you're ever out and you need some bacon, you know, kielbasa, like the sausage um, that we always get, like in Sam's Club and stuff, they yeah. make a bacon. It's thick cut, oh, really good. Oh, yes, it Very is good. good. What well, was marked on the shelf at ten seventy nine? when I get up to the front, it rings up at $12. Yeah. So I said to the girl, so she's like, let me adjust. I'm like, well, isn't the public's policy, it's free. And she's like, absolutely. See, in a store like Kohl's where they can digitally do it, they, they can stretch. go change it. Yeah, they can. It's true. All uh, right. Renee said, like the tree that Nisha showed for the bargain price of $250, not for this girl. We're 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 pretty cheap. Nisha's cheesy. tree is gorgeous. It though. is. I I want that decorating skill. Like I just can't do it. I was looking at her, she was rolling her hair, she got that Dyson air thing. But I just, it's like $500. Yeah. Like there's just no way. And I don't, it's like I, I've got one arm that just doesn't do right. So like one side of my head would always, it's like when you you do your nail polish. Right. Like I can't control one side, so it always looks different. And I know that whether I've got the expensive gadget or not, I will not be able to roll my hair the same way. I just won't be able to do it. Okay, wait on the questions because I'm getting flack for skipping comments. Oh, okay, so no sorry. more questions right oh, now. Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, uh, so Kim said my mother-in-law's pickles. Purple Bun will not shop at Kohl's. I'm with you. I've stopped shopping at Kohl's because I don't like rebates. I don't like the Kohl's cash deal. And I don't like their whole thing of, yeah, so they put up a price like on sale, but it's off of the suggested retail price, which is not what anybody ever sells it for. Here's, so it's like you're, you're scamming me. Here's what I will purchase at Kohl's. Kohl's still has- The best clearance. The cutest little kid clothes. When you are trying to like buy clothes for like for a church thing or something and you need dress up clothes, it is hard to find clothes that aren't just like littler versions of adult wear. Sometimes I want to just buy like a kid at church, like a froofy dress or one of those like really adorable little suits, not not the yucky suits like that the kid that for the kids that are, I mean, that look just gross, like the polyester, but like the really cute outfits for pictures, like you want to get family pictures done and you need to have a really cute outfit. It's hard to find those outside of Dollywood. Right. Like, so sometimes Kohl's has those still, yeah. but that's it. So Brianna said, my six foot six inch son is a cranberry sauce vacuum cleaner. Aww. Right family said, we make homemade cranberry sauce. Rachel Wright has an easy recipe. We just changed the sweet. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. So my thing is, is I always liked the jellied cranberry sauce. I never liked the whole bean one. So it has been an adjustment for me to switch over to the berry one because like, I don't 
you can, it's not as good for you on keto to make even with the better sweeteners to make it's, the jellied version. It feels like the berry ones got bones in it. Yeah. Uh, Cat Ray said you can make green bean casserole keto. Yeah, you absolutely can. Except for the southern way to make it is pour a can of cream of mushroom or can of, <laughs> can of cream of chicken soup in and there, the which onion. is loaded with stuff, and then top the entire thing with the French's fried, fried onions. onions. And that, I mean, simple thing: three ingredients, and you're done. And there ain't nothing keto about that. Whole it's thing. Too, it's like a vat of it. Uh, Shauna said, I did, however, get three Dash Pizzelli makers for $12.35. That is... I love Pizzellis. I, I, we made them last That's year. Really we good. actually, when we were working on the... Um, keto chow? The keto chow recipe with the eggnog. Because somehow I got stuck with an eggnog, having to make eggnog recipes last year. And I was coming up with the eggnog filling, the cannoli filling. I was experimenting with making Pizzellis as the cannoli shell. Yes. it worked really well. We made some good I eggnog. I love Pizzellis. Yeah, we did. Um, Gail says I want to buy unmentionables at Kohl's one time a year. Yes, the, they have good things, especially if you're looking for like Spanx type stuff. They have good deals, and it's that's another thing that's kind of hard to find in places. I saw some at Macy's recently where it had like the full outfit in like a Spanx, and um, Kohl's will have them. Um, Chris said two hundred fifty dollars trees for fans people that can afford Apple devices. I never make enough money to buy Apple devices. <laughs> Him and his Apple, he's got such a thing for Apple devices. I am so jealous that Anthony got the new MacBook, the Mac, the, the MacBook Air, and this little MacBook Air is more powerful than my big desktop and my nice big six. Like I was watching some of the things today, it's like five times faster. Then I feel bad. Somebody who bought a MacBook Air for $1,000 four months ago when the new one came out and the new one that just released this week is four times faster for the and same a, price. And where did he get it? That was a great, he gets a oh, great I, we, deal. If you ever need an Apple product, there's a company in Utah. It's called expercom.com. How do you? E-X-P-E-R-C-O-M.com. They're actually the only place in the world right now that's actually selling that computer on sale. It's like 70 or 80 bucks off, I think. Even Apple doesn't have it on sale. Nobody has it on sale. Plus, like, I don't have to pay tax on having it shipped to Florida. And it's free shipping. Or it's a, the shipping is a penny. A penny? Yeah. Miriam said the same thing. Kohl's has the best price on clearance clothes. I agree. Yeah. Renee said, I'm probably going to use my homegrown uh, Serranos in it. Ooh. Uh, Yum. Tiffany wants to know who's buying a Mark Anthony shirt for $199. Yeah, price. seriously. Seriously. They are just, yeah. That's just, it's not a thing. Carol said, I got a beautiful treat from Big Lots for 40 bucks. Wow. We bought ours from Costco, I think. Did we get it at Costco? Yeah, we got it at Costco. It was like on sale, on sale. On sale, on sale, on sale. Because our dog ate the bottom of our previous tree. That well, we she had, was a puppy. She was a puppy. And she, she didn't eat the tree. She, she ate, ate the wires. She ate the lower branches. Yeah. And that was one of the QVC trees that was like not cheap. Yep. Like the Bethlehem Lights Fancy Pants one. And yeah, she ate it. Linda said, buy something on Amazon, take it back to Kohl's, they ship it back for free, and you get a 25% off coupon on regular prices. I yes. did not realize that it was like an Amazon drop-off place because my mom said, I got to go to Kohl's. And I was like, oh. why? And she said, because I got to take something back to Amazon. Okay, so it just jumped, and the chat jumped to the perfect, perfect spot. Okay. Because Miriam just completely threw Chris under the bus. All right. Said, two crazy ketas, I have a secret for you. Chris Bear was an <gasps> Apple guy when we met. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Like, well, like Granny Smith or Macintosh apples or like actual apples. I can apples. see him being like the original Macintosh guy. We, I, we, I remember like way back when, when we were, I was working for my high school newspaper and we were so excited. We had the apple with the, like the tiny, tiny little green screen, but it was the, the best options for any kind of like layout and design. It was always like, it was the graphic design computer. A lot of programs that we use and, and, and that most churches use too, they don't even make them for Macs. They make them for Apple. They, yeah. Like, you, like ProPresenter, you can't even get it anymore. Um... Renee said, Ross always has good deals on clothes, but I haven't been shopping for anything like that in ages. Yes, my Ross. Problem, Ross, TJ, TJ Maxx, Max, and what's the other one? Home Goods. Home Goods. Here's my problem with all of them. Marshalls. No, Marshalls, not Home Goods. 
Mar uh, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross. Here's my problem with them. It's the most disorganized store. It's supposed to be. And I don't like that. I can't like a take treasure that. hunt. No. But I, if I want a treasure hunt, I'm going into a thrift store. I like to meander. You go up and down the aisles. Bell's Outlet, same thing. And I just want kinda... all the extra larges in one place. No. I don't want to have one rack with here's a t shirt, a suit shirt, a suit, a sweater, a hoodie. All on one rack, and oh by the way, here's a medium, here's a large, here's an extra large. All like in, so you go, you want to find a medium shirt? You got to go through 300 things, and probably two of them are medium. But there's all I kinds of stuff. That. It's like you're you're going through the racks, and it's like there is a bathing suit, an evening gown, a tuxedo, like I mean, a pirate costume. The like, problem there's is all they kinds have of stuff. really good prices. They do. But I just, I can't stand it. It's like I, one of the reasons I never went to Kmart. Kmart was always like disorganized. Kmart always smelled like Cheeto feet, like, or Fritos, corn chips. Okay, somebody just said something. Okay. Um, Chris said. Shelly said, I realized that this chat, I don't, from this chat, I don't shop. Christopher said, I like real cranberry sauce. Uh, Shauna said, I almost always shop online. Renee, oh, to, to, Renee was talking, somebody's talking about green bean casserole. You can top it with pork rinds. Skip this commercial too. Is there commercials or a thing? There's not supposed to be. Did we, I thought we turned all that off. I keep having images so Chris of Liza said, Minnelli in my head. Keto chow, savory chicken soup, green beans, and crushed pork rinds. We nice. We have to try that. We'll have to do that for real. And you got to use canned green beans. Yes. Got to use canned green beans. Yeah, because the other ones they don't. I don't know. I need. They don't get soft enough. Christopher said, "I'm literally on your eggnog recipe page while you talk about it." Aww. Um. Right. Family said, "I'm shopping online, but only needs." Cat says, "TJ Maxx has keto stuff. They sure do, and it weirds you out, right? Because you're just like you're you're going down, and you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, so there is like Lakanto syrup, and then you can you can get salts." And like, and you're like, sh I came here for a shirt, but like all of a sudden there's like keto baking mixes. And I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff. Shell said, make jelly, buy pectin and the 100% unsweetened cranberry juice and sweeten it with your choice of nice. sweetener. Nice. Uh, jumped again. All Ross is more organized. Not that every Ross is disorganized. Well, we live in South Florida. To Joe's dissatisfaction. We live in South Florida. Chris said, just let me just say, I'm glad whenever I run a program on my Windows computer, it doesn't hash the developer certificate and send an un un <laughs> unencrypted. unencrypted details to a manufacturer. Very true. I turn all that off. Uh, Cat Ray says, Pook, uh, thanks, Chris. Now I know what to order from Keto Chow. Kettle and Fire has mushroom soup, too. Yes. And they they're should... actually having a deal, too, but I forgot to look it up. But yeah. we will have, they uh, usually like, have on a deal. Yeah. Uh, Maybe I'll throw some lights on Jolly. <laughs> That's cute. Shelly said, I try to grocery shop early on Saturday mornings working from home. I hardly ever want to leave once work is done. I hear you. My ya. nose is itchy. I got to start the day early. Lily Bug says, or is it late? Oh, Lily Bug says that Tory Airport has a Spanx store. No. -uh. I don't know who thinks I'm about to get on a plane. I should <laughs> buy Spanx. Wow. No, there's, seriously. Okay, so that is great that there's a Spanx store, but like, yes, because I. I don't even want to drink anything before I go on an airplane because I'm so afraid of the airplane bathroom. Yeah. And I always, and, I, and I'm and i thinking to myself, don't have to go to the bathroom, don't have to go to the bathroom, that like I immediately have to pee as soon as we sit down because I have like spent so much mental energy on thinking about not peeing in that bathroom. So like, yes, can you imagine if you were like wearing a Spanx stuff and then like have to get on a plane? No. Um... Caboodle says, welcome to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> Chris said, Miriam is crying. She's laughing so hard. Janice says, Hobby Lobby, Harbor Freight, and Big Lots blew away here during Hurricane Delta. Seriously? Oh, my goodness. Carol says, hey, 2KK, can you put that website for the computers in the comments? Yeah, uh, Chris can do it for me. Uh, yeah, so it is expercom.com. Here I can do it. Yeah, I'll put it in there. Chris said, they said the only Apple product I have personally paid money for is a wristwatch that ran backwards and th said, think different. I love it. Miriam says, I'm getting one, then I don't have to make myself a pie. 
Renee said, I spent my life in scrub pants, funny t-shirts and workout clothes. I look weird in real clothes. Anytime I'm not wearing a nonsense costume to church, the children at church always ask me if I'm sick <laughs> because they just don't understand it. Like they just don't. They're like, what, what's wrong? Talk to me, Miss Rachel, what's happening? Renee said, I just threw up my mouth a little. Cheeto feet. <laughs> Seriously, every Ames and every Kmart and also, like there used to be like Sears, which I guess is not a thing anymore. Sears is not a thing anymore? Is Sears not a thing anymore? I don't think so. Sears surplus. It I used know to that. be a discount Sears store. You walked in and you- I think Lowe's now sells Craftsman. You smelled their dressing room from the front door. Seriously. He said, if we go, if we actually get to go on the cruise, I'm going to get everybody called Joe Skippy. I, hey, part of it is it jumps and you guys are awesome. Look, look at this interaction. Like you can only keep up so much. I, Hoopcat says, I love Bell's. I love Bell's outlet. outlet. Bell's outlet. I have found so much cool stuff there, right? Like there is like crazy cool stuff at Bell's outlet. Christopher wants to know if Schoolyard Snacks is having a Black Friday sale. I have not heard from them. Honestly, I love Schoolyard Snacks. They're kind of hard sometimes to interact with. Like, I will send them emails, and a lot of times, like, they're, they're, they're kind of a small company. So I think sometimes they just don't see stuff. So, But I haven't seen anything about them yet. Nancy says, got to go. See you next time. Nancy, thanks again. Thank you very much, Nancy, for um, giving away those keto bricks. I'll spank folks for a few bucks. <laughs> what did we miss? Renee is spanking people. He said I could type whatever I want because they'll never read it. Uh oh. Uh, we saw it. Uh, Laylee says you have to fly Delta to go to the spank store. Huh. Delta is like fancy for us. Usually. Thank we, you, Chris, for reposting it because I forgot to put the HTTPS. We're usually like um, riding the Tin Can Express. What is that spirit where you're like, hey, to save money on this flight, you're going to need to hold this chicken because we're going to have to crop Thank you dust. very much for saying this. JoJo's chocolate is buy three, get two free. Okay. When I looked at that, that they was, you bought a bundle of three and then you got to choose two more for free of whatever you want. Here's the problem. Only two of the JoJo's flavors are actually yes, keto. Yes, yes. The original and the peanut butter have sugar in them. So if you're buying JoJo's, do not buy the original and the peanut butter. There is sugar in them. They're lower carb than the average candy, but there is sugar and they are not low carb like the raspberry and the Hawaiian, Hawaiian. one. So only, so if I would say use the other coupon that they have, which is buy two, get one free, unless they've changed it. But when I looked at their buy three, get two free, you got three that they chose and then you got to choose two more for free. What software are you using that it skips? I've never had Restream skip ever. It's uh, the actual YouTube. I'm not using Restream. It's the actual YouTube um, studio. And it just keeps, when you get to the bottom, it just jumps up again. Linda says, I missed Ames Hills and Kmart. I, I do miss it because we would go, I mean, they had fun stuff. Their toy section in Kmart, I think, totally kicked Walmart's butt. Yeah. Now, Chris, for the record, the reason it's skipping is because we're behind. And so what happens is, is every once in a while it goes, you're not allowed to be behind and it jumps all the way to the bottom. So if you're like a half a page behind, it'll all of a sudden just put whatever the last comment is up on the page and you miss everything. So we have to scroll backwards. Renee says, cause you said Spanx outlet. That would be awesome. If there was a Spanx outlet, I could do some financial damage in Renee that store. Renee said the bells, they're closed. That's sad. There's a lot of really cool stores that are closing this year. Sal Marie says Serial School has horrible customer service. We've had, it's, it's been challenging. Yeah. I love their product, but yeah, they are a little hard to communicate with. Christopher says, oh, wow. I did not know about jo all about JoJo's things. I hadn't looked. It was a, uh, it was a lack of each. Yeah. I, I almost ordered it. That's why that's how I know. Shauna said, skipping is Chris Bear's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Oh, see, now we're caught up because it skipped all the way to the bottom. I'm Skippy, going back. I'm, Renee says, Skippy Skipperton. I'm looking to see if there's anything it, I missed. 
I don't see anything. That's why I don't do scrub tops. Patients enjoy my funny shirts. I I love funny shirts. Chris said I only go to TJ Maxx for one thing. What is that? And then he said, oh wait, I buy I also buy luggage. But he didn't say what the one thing is. Okay, yes. So if you need to buy luggage, I think that TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross have if you're buying an individual thing, like you just need like the carry-on type mm -hmm. thing. You know really who else deals. has a really good deal on luggage? Actually, Walmart. Like I got your bag last year from the last trip we took at Walmart. It was a good, and that was a good bag. I know that Kohl's always teases a bunch of like at Black Friday, like sales on luggage, but I've never found their. But there's a to rebate be. on it, right? <laughs> uh, boo -hoo, boo -hoo, giant, giant crocodile, crocodile tears. <laughs> Okay, um, he said you skipped it. Shauna says, I get Jordan's Skinny Syrup at Home Goods. Yes, there's like there's these home stores. And yes, and I think it's the cheapest place to get it. I we don't really drink them, so. I think it is the cheapest place to get it too, unless they're selling it at your Bell's Outlet. A lot of times my mom will go to Bell's Outlet. Like God only knows how, how old it is by the time it gets to Bell's Outlet. Sometimes you can find it at Big Lots too. Chris said, wait, the bag that got covered in kombucha. No, no, that, we, we had to get rid of that bag. We had to throw that out and also the rental car. I never prayed so hard in my life as like, can we just drop oh off this gosh, rental? Oh my gosh, that was so funny. We've got, I need a keto conference. I need a keto conference so bad. Like that was, it was so much fun hanging out with them and hanging out with, you know, all the different people when we were there and like, yeah, to then have the kombucha thing. Shelly is saying that she's picky on luggage. Shelly, what do you think is the best like brand of luggage, especially for like cruises and stuff? Like how do you get like what what has the best a backpack? You think? Like for you, what do you think? Because is a good you have about that much room to put your luggage. For for like being able to have enough compartments that it all fits. Uh, Michelle said, don't forget to get the 11% rebates at Home Depot. They do it when Menards is doing their 11% sale. Wait, what's that? White Family says Walmart has clearance luggage right now. He's Your your future is so bright you need to wear shades, sir. Um, Skinny syrups are 40% off right now. That's cool. Yeah, Christopher said, looks like two JoJo's flavors are keto. They have a cranberry one. The cranberry one is actually really good. No, it wasn't cranberry. It was was a cranberry or raspberry? I Which it was one? Raspberry. The other JoJo's. The 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 cranberry. It was a cranberry. Is it cranberry? I thought it was raspberry. It it was red. I know, but it's know really that. good. It's got a little it, red. It's really really flex. good. Uh, Shauna said, "I have a bunch of use them in my coffee and my keto chow. I don't know what Bell's Outlet is. I'm going to use the 2KK bag for the cruise. Luggage that rolls is the best. Yeah, that's what we have. Yeah." Renoa is my fave, takes a beating, hard shell, large, and roomy. I'm writing that down. R-I-M-O-W-A. Ramoa. I trust them because they've been on a lot of cruises, and I I don't know how to pack right. Like, I need, I need to do better at packing. Renee wants to know if we saw spider legs in our next day's poop. We did not. We did not see it, although my brother, it's so funny, because he, he is keto, and he doesn't usually comment on things, but he is attracted to, like, Rachel, like, being tortured with, uh, with, with food things, and he goes, I have something. I thought you were going to say poop things. No, he said, I have something, an idea for a keto fear factor. He found hamburger in a can. I don't know what that would be. What if it's going to be like Alpo or something? I don't know. Hamburger in a can. Has anybody said seen like that? like corn poop. It's a real thing. It would be Sadly, really weird we know that. if it was like, just had like a leg sticking out. I didn't see a tentacle either. There was no little tentacles. Are you done? Did they crawl out of the toilet? Oh, that would be so weird. Have you ever, okay, I have a question. This is probably TMI. Have you ever found a spider or a roach or any other bug that you don't like? I, I've done this with a lizard too. I, I hate to say it, but like the little baby like lizards. Have you ever flushed it down the toilet and then been afraid to use the toilet because you're thinking to yourself, it's gonna come back you up? You would never use the toilet if you knew how many like 
palmetto bugs and lizards I have flushed have down Have you ever? Toilet. The best is when flushed? you drop a lizard into the toilet and it keeps trying to swim and doesn't Ugh. go down. Oh my gosh. That is my fear. That is my fear is that I'm going to throw a palmetto bug down there and then it's going to fly right back up. Okay, Shauna said, I've been on one cruise during a west during the worst storms in the West Coast has had in scene three years. No excursions and rocking ship. Thank God for a patch. Yes. Um, he said, did they crawl out of the toilet? They did not. Chris said, insect exoskeletons are made from protein, which is easily digested. It's not, leave it to the nerd. It's not like it's vegetable, not like vegetable cellulose. cellulose. Yes, Christopher I've... said, I was going to send canned bacon too, but it was sold out. Okay, new rule on keto camping fear factor. <laughs> You, if you live in the state of Kentucky, <laughs> you cannot send us anything. Because they have cooler stuff there than any other state. I'm like waiting for like somebody to send us like, hey, this was like a fresh kill. They have. And I've made jerky. <laughs> they have the awesomest range of things. I, I think it's the coolest He sent thing. me a message. What do you want when you tell some crazy people from Kentucky to send you whatever you want to eat? I mean, it's like, are you kidding me? Our our um, assistant pastor at church was saying, like, I'm getting some stuff from my mom. And I was like, do you, like, does she live in Kentucky? And he's like, Arkansas. Like, we will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, like, crazy things that you can have free Speaking of Arkansas, I found this place in Arkansas. You can go camping. It's a wild buffalo range, and you can go in $15 a night with your RV, drop it in the middle, and literally you wake up in the morning and there's buffaloes at your door. Like, I want to go there so bad. You can even, if you have a four-wheeler, you can bring it with you, or you can rent a six-person four-wheeler and actually go out in the prairie with the buffalo. With the buffalo. With the buffalo. Will they go charge so your bad. It's in thing? Arkansas. Will they charge your... I don't know. But I mean, like somebody in one of the RV groups that I'm in, like posted a picture. They were camping there and they woke up and there was like 25 buffalo like outside of their door. Like one of them like right next to their chair. Like I that knew, is awesome. I knew somebody who had a baby buffalo that she rescued, but yes. then it had to move on to like a state park situation because they need a lot of room. She had an acre. Yeah, that's she, not like, enough that room. That was crazy in itself. Like, why do you have a buffalo on an acre? It, right, not enough room. They have to have like way more room to roam. Uh, Carol said, I flushed. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, I see hamburger in a I can. I flushed bugs and I've been afraid to sit on it. Shell says that hamburger in a can is with the bun and all. I did not. That is amazing. You just pull it right out. Like. Renee you, said, I found brisket in a vacuum packed bag of shelf stable. We're going to survive this zombie apocalypse. Like Le we're totally going to live through it. Lisa said, I have a surprise fear factor for you guys. I have to mail out. This is just getting bad. It's just getting bad. <laughs> it's so awesome. Gail said, don't sit on the throne in the dark. No, I, I'm honestly, I have to, I don't care if it wakes up Joe and everybody in the world. I have got to turn the light on in the toilet because what if the ghosts from insects I flushed past come back? So Shauna's talking I about the cruise see what's going on and in there. said that she may have to come, she would have to come alone. Reach out to our Facebook family group. I mean, I know that actually Joe from down here and Christopher, yeah. they're rooming together. So, or yeah, uh, Miriam put message Debbie and Debbie may be able to hook you up when like find somebody for you, but definitely don't let that stop you. Rachel just did her pirate impersonation. Arrgh. Uh Carol said, my friend has had frogs come up through her toilet. No. Does the no. air gut not work for them? Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, we move. Thinking the about, moment that happens, we move. I'm thinking about the Porky's movie where the snake comes up. No. The moment a frog comes up through my toilet, we're out of here. He said, I love you all to send you any Fear Factor stuff. Thank Aww. you, Heath. I didn't know you were discriminating against hillbillies. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up Palmetto Bug. A roach is a roach. Oh, yeah. Vivi J is on. He said he was hey, going to send us Kentucky Fried Chicken. No, that doesn't count. Well, you can, but oh, it, it well. can't be breaded. So, because it has to be keto friendly. Like, it can have a little bit of sugar, but it's still got to be, like, pretty keto friendly. Is that keto? Yeah. They have the grilled one. Uh, Miriam wants to know how much the cruise cost. They, were, they got cheap. Email Debbie. Like, I know we got, like, four or 500 bucks back on ours because of, like, the whole thing. So, yeah. 
Yeah, I know they're still pretty cheap. They may be the best Black Friday sale. Yeah, well, do not, I would not, unless you buy insurance. I, that's yes. one thing, I would not be buying any like vacation club things for Black Friday this year. No. Like if you're gonna do the cruise, make sure you get the yeah, insurance. Yeah, we got the, we got the traveler yes. like insurance. And I never buy that, but I did Just buy for the cruise. Case. And this was, this was like right when COVID was starting. I'm like, yeah, Better I never buy this, sorry. but I am. Because this is a big purchase for us to go on a cruise. Um, Karen said I had to look up a palmetto bug. A roach is a roach. Yuck. It's a well, flying they are, roach. They're, it's a flying roach. Yeah. They're they're different. The palmetto bugs here, it doesn't mean you're dirty. That's the thing. It's, I mean, we are dirty, but it's that's not, we're not dirty. indicated by that. Um, they love water, and they also love pine trees. And then sometimes if you get too much rain, you get worms that come in through your baseboard. <laughs> they also like anything cardboard. Yes. We found that out because we always have cardboard, cardboard and one of our friends from church is a pest, a pest control guy and he said, if you have cardboard, you're attracting them. They so love cardboard. if you're storing things and you live in like the Southeast, he recommends changing out from any kind of like cardboard boxes to um, plastic, you know, the bins, the storage bins because they love cardboard. Shelly said, I think you can do the cruise for less than $1,000 if you don't mind sharing a room. I don't even think we paid, I don't think we paid close to that. And we got a better, we got a like balcony room on the water. I'm ticked. I have to share my room. Sorry. You also have to share <laughs> your closet and that's not Dang it. Uh, right Family said, it's okay. We're mostly Tennessee people. We have good things to send. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Chris said it's costing us less to have eight people in four rooms and eight people in two rooms. The theory, uh, that's possible, but it cramped. Yeah. Uh, Chris said our total cost for each stateroom with two people was, in it was $1,356 for each room. Yeah. Uh, my name said I wanted to send you some squid jerky, but all I could find had sugar in it. Isn't that interesting? They're like, you know what? We're making this squid jerky. We need to make it like more refreshing to people. We'll put some sugar in it. Chris said, what about a pile of cardboard you routinely light on fire? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Renee said, I'm getting everything in order to hopefully buy a house early next year. <gasps> How fun. Aw, that's awesome. That's exciting. Karen said, I'd love to go on a cruise, but I can't take the boat movement. Keep us informed of other events to get together. Yeah. yeah we're we're just hoping everything starts open. I know that states are starting to try to close back up again. I so hope not. I hope not. Vivi J said, the first time I saw a palmetto bug was when I was in college in uh, Charleston, South Carolina. I thought it was a mechanical toy. I couldn't believe it was real. Looked like something from a Sinbad movie. Now, when I, I went to Florida International University in Miami, right off of Calle Ocho in South Miami, and there are bugs that you would see on campus that we don't even see this far north, and we're not very far from it, but I'm telling you, there were some tropical bugs that are just gigantic. Even when you'd see them dead, you were like, I'm I'm taking another route to my classes because they are freaking huge. Christopher said, I'm not buying anything of the extra stuff on the cruise except internet and soda. Oh yeah. Um, Shauna said, is it safe to take a cruise? So they're in the process, we're gonna get off in a minute. Um, they're in the process of doing things. I know they, they just released this week, the CDC has given them permission to start applying. They have to have certain things that they have to go through. Then they have to have test cruises that are not for pay where they're using mostly employees and stuff to test all the protocol. And from what I've seen, at least with Royal Caribbean, the deal is going to be that in order to board, you're going to have to get tested. And then they're actually gonna have testing facilities on the ship. And if you were to test positive while you're on the ship, they're gonna send you home. So yeah. it's gonna be interesting. Fortunately, the cruise is until May. So hopefully everything kind of fixes by then. Um, Chris said, we get the internet. We use a portable router to share it between all of our phones and we don't get the soda. That's what I'm gonna be doing. So, cause I'm buying a portable router for the camper, which can take like all the different, even like a Wi-Fi, and put it in and then we can share it between our phones. Now we should share that we will be live streaming on Thanksgiving. We are? Yeah. I thought we wasn't determined yet. We're in gonna the morning. be in the morning while everybody's like cooking. Since when, there's no parade. Since there's no parade, we're gonna we're gonna parade out these crazies on Thanksgiving. And before we even get started with all that, we just wanna say that we're really thankful for you guys. Yeah. Like thank and, and this year more than any year, just to have 
people to talk to and to share life with, it's it's more important now than ever. So Shauna said, um, oh, said their governor just put a curfew on until Christmas of 10 to 6. And um, he said he's a jerk and a screw. <laughs> I went to French Laundry for a birthday. <laughs> okay. Renee said, I'm sure Texas will be shutting down soon since we have large numbers of goobers. Here's the problem. Everybody's coming to Florida. And our governor <laughs> said, we ain't shutting anything down. So you guys, well, let's let's let Everybody is in. coming to Just Florida. come hang out with us. <laughs> I'm thankful for the opportunity to still, like, do some stuff now. Like, I mean, I'm really thankful. Today, we just spent the afternoon putting boxes together for uh, Thanksgiving giveaways. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we can still do that. And... Tomorrow we'll be packing up those boxes, and it just—it was just awesome. Right. I love I love food giveaways. I think we're supposed to like be helping about 200 families awesome. have Thanksgiving dinner, and I'm excited about that. Chris said, "Joe, send me an email when you're doing streams so I can add them to lowcarbevents.com." Okay, this is kind of news to me because we talked about doing one on Thanksgiving morning. And then we said we were going out to back to mom's house again on Thanksgiving. We so are. Like, news to me. I think it's important because there may be people who don't have anybody to hang out with for Thanksgiving. So we want to make sure we that did, like, I know we did it last year on Thanksgiving. That we, we get our, the family together. Yeah. Just for a little while. So. You're stuck with us. Okay. Sorry. We're going to get off. We do want to appreciate everybody for signing on and listening to us be idiots for a little while. <laughs> Well, that well, it's we're lifers when it yeah. comes to being an idiot. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that little notification bell because we do have a bunch of videos coming up. Um, we got a couple of reviews of some more baked goods that we found that people have sent us. Um, we're gonna have a video on all of the different Black Friday deals as we find out about them. And uh, what else do we have coming up? Stuff. Stuff. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. And we have our live streams. Yeah. And my 50th birthday, which I don't know what we're doing yet. But so we're don't forget, something. in case you didn't hear before, the um, 12 days of keto will be December 9th through the 20th. And every single day of those live streams, we will have a giveaway. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to send, if you want to put a ornament on our tree, because we haven't gotten anything yet. And no. I, don't, I really don't want to eliminate that. But. Well, we can still put up last year's Yeah, we have ornaments. all of last year's yeah. ornaments. Yeah. But I like... I like that something? we can't put it up unless it comes from a subscriber. Me too. I, like I love that. that. So, like all the kids' little things they made when they were little. Sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. Can't have it. Didn't Boot come it. from a subscriber. Didn't come from a subscriber. So. Okay. Have a good night. We love you guys.